There's a lot of interesting stuff in here, um, but the one that connects most to today's lecture is uh, an article in the second section of the, of the FT um, on page 21 calls, called uh, EBS Hail Success of HFT Curbs. Um, HFT is high frequency trading and uh, sometimes called cyborg trading. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, algorithms often that are, that are written by uh, computer scientists and engineers and so forth um, trying to, and they often co-locate the servers, you know, right next to the actual exchange so that they can really get the, the fastest trade in. Um, and uh, this has become quite a controversial thing because uh, the high frequency trading has been making money, but it's not clear that they're making markets. Um, they're taking money away from the regular dealers who trade a little more slowly. Um, and there's been some concern that in fact, to protect themselves, regular dealers have been widening the bid ask spread and so therefore making things less liquid in some way. And uh, so this is a controversial, a controversial issue. It's particularly important in foreign exchange, as a matter of fact. Um, and we'll see why um, as I'm gonna talk about a certain kind of foreign exchange uh, market making, which involves a simultaneous taking a position in the spot exchange market and in the forward exchange market. And the, and the sooner you can take these with each other, then you're hedged, okay? But if you take one and then you take the other, okay, and you're a normal human being and taking one and taking the other takes you a second, okay, there's a chance for a computer to get in there, okay, and take one and take the other, okay, take the other and then sell it to you at a profit later. Okay, so you wind up paying more for your hedge than you thought you were going to be paying. And, uh, and, and when banks discover that that's what's happening, they back off. Um, and so, uh, but so this platform, this is what this thing is. EBS is a platform. Uh, measures taken by one of the world's largest currency trading platforms to curb the predatory practices of high frequency traders. So they're, they're taking a position on this issue, right? Predatory practices, um, have led to a healthier order book without damaging volumes, according to its chief executive. Of course he would say that. Um, and they talk about some of the measures. One of the interesting ones, among the measures EBS introduced was to widen the spread of pricing on some of its currency pairs so the fifth decimal point in a quote ended with a five or a zero rather than increments of one-tenth. The fifth decimal point of the quote, okay, so that they're making it so you can't trade in between, in between uh, very, very tight spreads. They also did something about uh, flash orders, orders that are canceled before they actually are, are executed. Um, and uh, uh, they're, con they're concerned about, about this. And they're saying that it's increased, uh, volumes are down, uh, so there's less quantity of trading, which you would expect, okay? But it seems like the real people who are trading, okay, are still there. So the liquidity is, is still there. So this is just growing pains. This is what happens in finance always, you know? There's this uh, uh, arms race, okay, of, of, of speed of trading and of, of algorithmic uh, trading. And the, and the uh, uh, this has led to uh, various platforms trying to protect uh, their other customers from this because, of course, if they aren't protecting, you just say, well, I'm not going to do any business with you. Okay, I'll go to the platform where it, they actually care about people like me instead of creating, uh, creating an environment where basically these predators are going to come and, and, and take my money. So it's in the interest of the creating platform, right, to cater to the customers who, who, have, who have needs. And this is just an example. I have no idea whether, you know, he's claiming they're, they're just taking all their information from the head, the head of the trading platform. So this may be true, it may not be true uh, from in the spin they're putting on it. Um, but it is definitely true that this war of the cyborgs versus the humans um, is, is, a, is an ongoing one. Um, Four trillion dollars a day in foreign exchange is, is traded. Um, and a very high fraction of that is, is in, in high frequency stuff.